Hey, what's going on, World of YouTube and Diecast fans? So we have a Beatnik Bandit here. Uh, this, I was the lucky winner, uh, or rather the lucky bidder. I was able to get this guy for five dollars and another five dollars for shipping and handling. So overall, about ten dollars. Needs a little bit of work, as you can see, and it's quite a bit of work. So this will be my first Redline restoration. I have not done a single one. I've tested out the Spectra Flame paint uh, and a few other castings, but this one will be the full original. I'm not sure if I have the Aqua paint. I'll have to go through my bottles and see if I have it. That way I can get it back to its original appearance of this Aqua color. All right, so we have the wheels uh, somewhere in my little storage container. Uh, we're gonna be taking apart. See the steering wheel is loose in there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, the glass will need a lot of cleaning. I'll probably do some sanding and then some buffing, polishing to try to get it back to a better state. Not sure how that's gonna come out, but this is a trial piece. At the bottom, the base, uh, will also need uh, some polishing. I'm sure uh, we can work that out. And the axles are slightly bent, but we'll, we'll work through that. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and create a soft cushion here so that we don't bust our glass and make it worse. Now from we what I can see, there's only one area I have to worry about, which is right back here. So we'll go ahead and do a center punch. We'll take our smallest punch. Oh boy, these are slippery, aren't they? Looks like we have uh, something good there. All right, just one. Uh, we still have our windshield, alrighty. And now we'll go ahead and take a bigger punch. There we go. Alright, so I think we can work with that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. I'm not going to show the drilling piece. Um, one, because I don't want to mess it up. And the other part is that uh, it's very simple and straightforward. I did the uh, pre-drill. Let's see if this works. All right. And here we have a torn apart beat neck banded. Alright, <clears throat> steering wheel. Gotta take care not to lose that. See so if we can see all the components there. Alright, so engine's gonna need a little bit of chrome uh, windshield. Too bad, just gonna have to uh, clean it up some. Interior is looking okay. It's a little bit cracked. Not sure if you can see the fine cracks in there. So we won't mess too much with it. I uh, still want to use this uh, the same interior. But uh has a few stress fractures right around the uh, seat in the back. Steering wheel, engine, and then the base. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it a really nice good solid polish. And uh, we're going to remove the paint. Get this baby back up to to its original condition. All right, so we have the stripped bead neck banded. There is a lot of build up around the edges. So it's going to take a little bit of work, a little bit of elbow grease to try to get most of that knocked out. Not sure what I'm going to go with yet.
Now that if I uh, leave that on there and do the spectral flame, it's going to show and it's going to be pretty nasty. We're going to have to redo it. So I'm going to give it our best shot to try to get most of this off. I'm going to start off with that Neverdoll and then from there I'll try some other other stuff if Neverdoll works and I'll let you know. If not, I'll definitely uh, keep you updated on what worked for this particular casting and to remove some of that nastiness. But I'm confident that with whatever uh, steps we take, we'll get it back up to a very nice shine, a very good looking condition, and definitely we'll get be ready for an awesome paint job. All right, so after a little bit of patience and a whole lot of scrubbing, uh, we ended up with a pretty good surface here, at least from where we started from. Got a really nice shine. Uh, got the shine after I did a lot of the scrubbing with the Never Doll. I went ahead and took a buffing wheel, uh, some mother's polish, and then just went went to town. Got a lot of that nastiness off. Looks pretty good. Uh, those of you who are wondering uh, what the Never Doll is. Pretty much this right here, never dull. Um, you can see right here, we used quite a few bits of cotton. Just got some chemicals in there, and you just do a lot of scrubbing. Just keep going over some of the tougher areas uh, that are hard to get. I know there's other ways of doing this stuff, but I wanted to try the never dull, and I think that I got lucky uh, where everything worked out. So it looks good. Obviously, mothers right here. I like this stuff, it works very well. Uh, once I did all my scrubbing with this stuff here, um, went ahead and polished it up. Took about a good hour of constantly going over uh, some of the rougher spots and just over the whole casting. And that did the work, it looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the, the glass now, the windshield. All right, there they are, all three parts main parts are cleaned up. Uh, this is as clean as uh, I'll be able to get this. Uh, notice as I was cleaning there's a small uh, internal scratch right around here where my thumb is so it's going to be a challenge. To if uh, after we put it together with the paint and everything it looks if it looks bad I will go ahead and order a new one. Bottom came out good nice and shiny Clean this off with uh, some mineral spirits just to get a lot of the uh, grease off. And I did have a bottle of uh, aqua, so we'll be able to get this back to its aqua state. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pause the video, take care of the, the paint job, and we'll be back with the final final stage, which is showing the color and how cool it went on. Yeah. Check this out, it came out really nice. If I had done a little bit more polishing on it, it would have been even better. Uh, the few spots, I'm not sure if you can see them. Uh, I can't really see them through the camera. But with the naked eye, I can see a few smears, not many. So considering how it was such a nice casting. Sakwa was easy to apply, I did about six coat did uh, four light ones uh, on the fifth one I went a little bit heavier and on the sixth one of course I went um, pretty heavy so it's got a really nice shine uh, dang it looks really nice I'm sure the uh, DSLR the camera is picking up a little bit more details than, uh, than I can see with my naked eye a few smears nothing bad pretty cool uh, most of the work was done with just basic over-the-counter stuff that I that I picked up and did all the scrubbing with, so it's doable. All right, we're gonna let this puppy dry, and then we'll put it back together tomorrow once it's once the paint has set. Out. 
All right, so now that everything has cured, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it together and see what we have. It's looking pretty, pretty dang good. All right, so what do we need? We need a couple, couple wheels. We need a two medium. So for the E-Nick Bandit, the Hong Kong edition, we need two medium and two small cap wheels. I think we have those here. So we need two medium there and too small. All right. All right, we got our chassis rolling pretty good. Wheels look straight. We're gonna go ahead and build the rest of it. Parts here. Again, the uh, windshield. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna have to. We'll see how it comes out, and then if we have to order a new one. We'll do so. But the uh, beauty of uh, doing your own custom work is that you can just unscrew the bottom screw down here and order a new one. Easy replacement. Yeah, check it out. Uh, once again, looks pretty good. Oh boy, look at this beauty. A restored beatneck bandit. Um, the windshield, I'm going to go ahead and leave it for now. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, repla uh, fix the steering wheel. Uh, the engine was nice and nice and clean. Could use a little bit of chrome, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Wheels came out good. Uh, straighten out some of the ac one of the axles. Color looks very nice. And I'm missing a small detail here. As you can see, the lights. We're going to go ahead and correct that here. One second. Got my sharpie here. Just in case you want to see this piece, this part, not missing out on anything. All right, there we go. That way we do. Uh, that way we will not get pulled over when we're cruising down the the boulevard. Couple things uh, I will do different next time is probably just give it a, a little bit more of a polish just so that I can get rid of some of the smears. Can't really see them that much. Uh, color looks great. Now you can see a small crack or scratch right here inside the uh, the windshield. It's in the inside, so I don't know how the heck that happened in the inside. Yeah, I cannot explain that, but it's in there. I'm waiting on my little turning wheel so that I can display my customs a little bit better without you having to see my fat fingers turning around the casting. Uh, but for now, like I said in my last video, please bear with me. Trying to pan the camera around the casting, get you a better look. But uh, hopefully I don't make you sick while doing this. All right, well, um, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting my channel. And please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, there are many more videos to come. Uh, if not red lines, there will be some custom uh, Hot Wheels, some of the new stuff that's coming out. So again, please don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. And please comment down there, down below. Let me know uh, what you like, don't like, or what... Uh, Actually, I do have a question for you. What red line 
would you like to see get restored next? And to give you an idea of what I have, let's go ahead and bring the camera up a little bit. All right, there you go, you got a couple custom T-Birds, some Cougars, Barracuda, got the Alive 55 and the Nomad back there, the Beetle, Peeping, the Peeping Bomb back there. And a few of these guys over here are just kind of hanging out, waiting to get restored. So, please let me know what you want to see uh, next on my channel. Uh, I'll go ahead and take these apart, uh, restore that, and when uh, if you do pick something, let me know what color you want to see it in. That way, I can go ahead and get that ready as well.